Praise the Lord. My name is Olusha Gumoku Olu. I'm in a wrong marriage. I wish I listened. I regret marrying this man. This is the story of uh, a lady who recently got married. And I'll be sharing what happened to her. Uh, I'm sharing this in order to help other people who are coming behind to take heed so that they do not make the same kind of mistake that she made. This is a live uh, Facebook video. So for those of you who are watching on YouTube, it's a live Facebook video. So I may just wait for some time to allow uh, people to join on live Facebook. Now, please, as you join on live Facebook, uh, share this live video so that uh, we can bring in more people to learn from the story of this uh, of this lady. Uh, so, like I said, is a story uh, of a lady that um, contacted me in two thousand and 18 to be precise yes 2018 to be precise uh, and i feel that um, it is quite instructive uh, for us all to listen to this story all right so let me just share this on another platform uh, while other people join us all right I think we are good to go. So now there is this tendency to think that learning about marriage is a waste of time. I am sharing this as a painful burden upon my heart because it has happened to so many people and i pray that uh, you will not be the next person that this will happen to let me start with this particular story and then i will mention other uh, examples that this has happened to in 2018 this lady contacted me and we got talking she discussed with me about getting married so uh, we had some chats and then i sent two things to her one i shared with her video links of messages on how to get married how to marry right and so on uh, video links of several videos actually but on this subject and then i also asked her to enroll for the free marriage course now note that the course is free absolutely free okay so she said she was going to take the course <coughs> And that was how our conversation ended in 2018. She did not enroll for the course, even though the course is actually free. Maybe she got busy. She didn't see the importance of enrolling in the course. Then she, she met a brother in the course of time. Uh, Maybe that year or a year after, she met a man. And before you know what happened, the, the brother proposed. So she took this man to the church marriage committee. I said, I'm going to point out some things in this story. I'm sharing this story because I want people to really learn from this. She took this brother to the church marriage committee they did their process uh it's actually um 
Okay, let me leave the name of the church. But in any case, they went to the marriage committee. So, and they passed them. And then they got married. They got married two years ago. That would be 2019 or so. So, I think they must have met in 2018 and got married in 2019. On their wedding night, she realized she had made the biggest mistake of her life. One, she had married a man that had some form of sexual dysfunction. Two, she has married a man that has character dysfunction. <laughs> You know, so it's, it's two in one. Now, they got married. At, the man was 35 years old and the lady was 36 years old when they got married. This lady bore the burden of the wedding. 90% of things that needed to be bought, arrangements made, it was all done by this lady. The man didn't have a proper place he was living. So after the wedding, they moved to this lady's house. So she literally funded the wedding and then moved the man into her own house. Ordinarily, there's nothing wrong with that if the two of them are one. But then problems started. One, they had problems sexually. You know, they couldn't really engage in sex. It was a problem. Two, the man told her that, see, I don't love you. You just manipulated me into marriage. That was the same man who came to her and said, I want to marry you. And... The problem just started from one to another. As I am speaking to you, the man has packed out of the house. So they are not together. Now, but what are the lessons and why am I sharing this story with you? When this lady contacted me in 2021, that is this week, we last spoke in 2018 she contacted me now this week telling me this story now as at our last conversation in 2018 i had told her to go and enroll for the free marriage course and to watch videos free everything free of biblical teachings on how to get marriage right. The problem is, and this is happening to many people, they think that it is a waste of time. You are so anxious to get married that you feel that the investment to understand biblical marriage is a waste of time. What you don't know is that it's a bad marriage is a waste of time it is a bad marriage that is a waste of time you don't know what a waste of time is until you enter into a bad marriage i've seen people in marriage for two decades that they literally wasted their lives they just became tied down to somebody in a married covenant and really there is no marriage there is no life their life became complicated marriage can waste your life I'm telling you, marriage can waste your life if you do not get it right. So this lady, she didn't watch those messages. These were 15 minutes, 20 minute messages that could have saved her of her tears currently. In fact, if she had taken that marriage course, and she was sincere. She would not have married that man. Any, there is no way anybody could have taken that marriage course and married that man. You see? 
you don't need this marriage course to marry right. I'm not saying this is this is what you need to marry right. God had made a lot of provisions, but this is the one that has come through us. So that's why I'm talking about it. And the marriage course is simply about is the scriptures. The Lord has simply put the scripture together for his children. This marriage course is not, it has nothing to do with a ministry. It has nothing to do with a denomination, a person, or a group. This is Jesus himself directing us to put this together for his children. And that is why it is completely free. The red flags were all there for this sister to know not to go into this relationship. They were all there. But she didn't understand them because what it takes to understand, to see those red flags as red flags, she didn't have it. And that's what the course will have done for her. If you take the course, right from afar, you can tell to a certain degree that this man is a wrong man. I can't marry a man like this. But she didn't do that. She was busy. How can you be so busy to attend a lecture and read, but you want to write the exam? How? That is what is happening today. Many people are anxious of getting married, but they are not committed to prepare for marriage. And you see, in life, they say if you don't prepare to succeed, you have prepared to fail. That's what it means. Your lack of preparation to understand marriage is a preparation to cry in marriage. Don't be too anxious to go into marriage. What are you rushing there to go and do? Understand. You see, I'm sharing this because she's not the only person who has had opportunity you know, it's a different case when people don't have opportunity. It's a different case when people are ignorant. I know many people who have had opportunity to watch 20 minutes message that will have guided them to make right choice, to enroll for this free marriage course. Some, to, some started because you do it by email and then they abandon it and then they go and get married. And then they come to me again and say, sir, I'm going to divorce. And I'm like, how did you marry this person? In fact, this particular lady said she regretted. That was her own word. She said she regretted that she never took the marriage course. She said she couldn't even explain why she didn't take the marriage course. Sisters, brothers. Don't let the devil set you up. Don't let the devil trick you into marital trap. Because the devil wants you to go into marriage ignorantly. That way, he can ensure that you will marry the wrong person. And he can deal with you thoroughly in marriage. He can frustrate your life. Marriage can be extremely frustrating. With the wrong person. So she didn't uh she didn't take the course and went for this man. You know, it's so painful because it's so obvious. You could see this that this man is not the right man. It's so obvious. You just need to have seen how basic the Bible is in guiding us on who to marry. If I did not receive the mercy of God through his word, I would never have married right. It takes the training, the teaching of God, of God's word, to guide anybody to marry right. There are many useless people out there. Many people who don't plan to do anything meaningful in, with their life. And they will deceive you and trick you into marriage. Another issue was that this sister was a little bit desperate. 
She got married. She married this man at 36. She was 36. The man was 35. The rate at which she put effort to ensure that the wedding should go ahead very quickly shows that she was under pressure. Now, at 36, she felt under pressure to get married. She put everything in it. She got married. Now, the man is out of her house. She's not yet 40. She doesn't have a child. Did you know that she married this man as a virgin? She married this man as a virgin. She kept herself as a Christian. But today, she's not even enjoying sex. She married a man that cannot have sex with her. And now she's married. She can't go out of marriage to have sex. That would be adultery. And then she kept herself for 36 years. 36 years. And messed it up with ignorance. After 36 years of waiting, I'm telling you true life story. I checked the chart, you know. I checked the chart I had with her in 2018. I checked it today. And I'm actually going to look at it now again. Um, I checked it today. And it's so painful. How she had opportunity. You see, God, God is merciful, brothers and sisters. You see, our last chart was October 25th, 2018. And the last thing I shared with her is here is my complete message for preparing for marriage there are over 100 short messages in the playlist i sent this to this person she didn't bother to listen that's how many people are that's what, you see a video like this is not going to it's not going to trend and many of you watching this you are not even probably going to share it if somebody comes to you now and begin to tell you, I see wedding card, I see you getting married, it is your turn to marry, you will be sharing the video. The, the person doesn't need to tell you, share, share, share. You will be sharing it. A lot of people will be watching. You will see thousands of views. Because people are ready to marry. They are not ready, they are not ready to prepare for marriage. And that's why they are crying in marriage. I, I am grieving my brothers and sisters, because I can see what the devil wants to do. Unfortunately, I see people walk into that trap. They, they, they walk into it. You know, because you see, when the devil himself wants you not to take that course or expose yourself to teachings that could guide you right. Because he wants to sponsor a wrong person into your life. So this sister, she didn't take the course. And she was desperate. And look at the outcome. The third thing is the, in her story is this. She went to marriage committee. Thinking that the marriage committee would help her to know whether she has made the right choice. Ha! My brothers and sisters, the choice is yours to make. The choice is nobody will make that choice for you. <laughs> you know, let me tell you something. When people come to me for counseling and they tell me about the person they want to marry, I don't tell them that this person is wrong. Don't marry this person. I open the word of God and I show them the kind of person they should marry. Of course, if they are wise, they will see that they should not marry this person. But one day the Lord rebuked me. And he told me, he said, see, some of my children, they will never be able to tell whether somebody is right or not. When they come to you, tell them. So since that time, I've been taking the courage. When they present to me, I said, well, I will, I will show them what the word of God has said. But I will be honest with them. I won't say they should not marry the person. But I will be honest with them that say, biblically speaking, 
this person <laughs> is a wrong person to marry. If they now go ahead and marry the person, my blood, their blood is not on me anymore. It is a concern. What I'm saying to you is a concern in heaven. Because God's children are being tricked into bad marriages and they are suffering. And they cannot become anything that God wants them to become because of bad marriage. Many have become trapped. They are suffering daily. So instead of them spending time to intercede for nations, to, to take territories for Jesus, what they are battling with every day in their life is marital problem. And the foundation of that marital problem is wrong choice. If the foundation is faulty, what can the righteous do? A woman, this woman that I'm telling you her story, she was describing to me how wicked this man is. She told me so many things about this man. And I told her, I said, Madam, the problem is not your husband. Your husband is who he is. You are the one that went to marry a devil. When the devil came to you, you had power to say no. Did you know if she had just said no, her life would be happy today? Today she may be 39 years old and still be single, but she will be happy. But many don't know. She thought she was 36. She was under pressure. And you know, the society will live. If you don't, if you don't have sense and know what you are doing, they will push you into wrong marriage. People will not ask you, how is your faith in Christ? What they'll be asking you is, ah, how come you are not married? What's happening? What's going on? If you don't know what you are doing, they will push you. People will tell you and say, there are no good men. Once you see one, just manage. It's a lie. It's a lie. Don't let anybody tell you that, ah, that's how all women are. No! There are fantastic women. There are godly women. Beautiful women. Women that if you have them in your life, just having them in your life, your life will just be good. <laughs> Fantastic women. Wise women. They are. But you are not going to find them on the pages of newspaper. They, they are in the hand of the Lord. You are not going to find them anywhere, carelessly. It is God who can guide you. He has made that provision in his word. Why do people don't want to learn? Why must you enter marriage and begin to suffer before you now say, oh, I wish I listened. That's what this lady is saying now. She went to the marriage committee thinking they will help her to know the choice she didn't make correctly. She think another person will make it. Guess what? After our marriage broke up, you know, I told you they are no more together. The man had packed out of the house. She went to one of the members of the marriage committee. You know what they told her? They said they knew. They saw it that it will not work. That this man is not the right man for marriage. But that they could not tell her. May you not attend the wrong church. Men are wicked. Human beings. Hey, hey, hey. We can be wicked. Wicked. You must know what you are doing. Don't leave your choice making in the hand of another man. You know, some of you, that's what you are doing. I hear sister say, where well, many people have helped me to pray about it, there is confirmation here and there. You don't need all of those confirmations. You need only one confirmation. The one you know. And that one will only come when you are grounded in the word of God. It's not just praying and say, the Lord told me it's my husband. No, what does the word of God say? You, do you know that the Bible? <laughs> the Bible is like a scanner. Oh, Hallelujah. When you go to the airport or some secured environment, you walk through the scanner. The scanner shows everything you have. 
Things that you cannot take along with you, the scanner will indicate it. If you want to fly, for example, and you have a gun in your traveling bag, when they pass through the scanning machine, it indicates that there is a gun there. That gun will not fly with you. That's how the word of God is. You don't need to go and meet anybody. A man, you want to marry a sister, pass her through the scanner. Pass her through it. You will see the things that, should, that are in her. As a sister, you want to marry a man, lay hold of the word of God. Let that, you see, take that man through this word of God. Anything in that man that should not pass, this word will reveal it. You will know whether this is a man you should marry or not. You will know. They told her, they said, we knew. But we couldn't tell you. Ah! But you see, God is just. Though they did not tell her, she herself had the opportunity to hear the truth. She did not listen. She had that opportunity. And I, I want to believe the Holy Spirit warned her. You know, <laughs> it's interesting. This woman, she will be saying, you know, sir, the Holy Spirit told me this. The Holy Spirit told me that. The Holy Spirit is telling you many things. The only thing he did, he does, he did not tell you is that when you want to marry this man, he didn't tell you this is a wrong man. That could be two things. One, it's either that you are not hearing the Holy Spirit, you are just deceiving yourself. Or, you are hearing the Holy Spirit, but when it comes to marriage, you don't want to hear anything. If the Holy Spirit says, this is not your husband, you will rebuke that voice. You say, no, 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 no. I rebuke this voice that wants me to, to be 40 before I get married. I rebuke you this voice. <laughs> it's just, the word of God will have saved her. Just the word of God. I myself, I was about to step into a wrong marriage. God had mercy on me. I can't forget. God told me specifically. He said, son, you don't know anything about marriage. Sit down. Let me teach you. As at that time, I was teaching about marriage. I was far ahead of my contemporaries when it comes to biblical teaching of marriage. And for the next nine years, after I thought I was ready to be married, I was in, this, in the school of the Holy Ghost. I'm still in that school. But at least it was after nine years that God felt, okay, now you can go and get married. My brothers and sisters, you see, particularly sisters, <laughs> it's still easy for a man, if he enters a bad marriage, he can manage it. But you as a sister, that you have to submit. Oh, my, 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 my. It's not... <laughs> Once you have a child, you are a different person entirely. I pray you won't cry in marriage. Don't be in a haste. Don't hurry anywhere. Is it? I'm telling you this story. There are many others. I also know a particular sister. I sent her the, the, the course detail. I said, take this marriage course. She didn't take it. Shortly after she got married, the wedding didn't last a year. She called me that they are divorcing. She married a, how do I describe it? She married anger. <laughs> she married Anger. Anger. She was living in fear. Ah, I look at her and I said, did you know that just taking this course will have been okay for you? You won't make this mistake. Sincerely. Now, I, I must keep re-emphasizing that I'm not saying if you take this course, that's the only course in this world or the only thing that will make you marry right. The only thing that will make you marry right is the word of God. We have put it together. 
we call it free bible marriage course if i'm not mistaken it's been done in about 45 countries of the world it's completely free you know and everybody keeps testifying that wow those who are who are taking the course before getting married they are saying sir there is no way they will have missed it if they didn't take this course you see it's not the course it's the word of god it's not the course it's just the way god had helped us to put it together for the body of christ and i must keep saying it is free absolutely free you'll be amazed at how easy it is for you to make mistakes as I'm speaking to you, there are people who are taking the course and they are sending uh, their modules. And you see, there are so many. I wish I can show you. There are so many. This is the email. All these are people who, are, who have enrolled for the married course. See, from different parts of the world. From different parts of the world. If I, if I keep reading some of their responses to you, there's one I've, I'm yet to read as I'm looking at it now. I bet you if I open it and read it, you will hear something that has to do with I never knew this before. Oh, I never knew this before. Oh, I don't know this, about this before. My sister, if you are single, I beg you in the name of God. I, I am begging you. Don't go into marriage unless... You are thoroughly taught about biblical marriage. Don't say yes to, a, to anybody until you are sure that you are rooted in the word of God. That you know what you are doing. That God is in it. He's guiding you. If you see what married men are going through, Somebody said, um, I have sent a mail for the free marriage course, but I didn't get response. Dockers, please, if you don't get response within five minutes of sending your request, we didn't receive the email. It's that simple. We respond to every single email within five minutes. So, if we have not responded, we didn't receive it. And if we don't receive it, there is no way we can respond to you. At times, some people write the email address wrongly. So that's why um, when people say they want to take the course, we send them the email address. We, we send some details to them, which I'm still going to post on this page. For those of you watching on YouTube, if you check the description below, you find the email address is BibleLoveHelper at gmail.com. That Bible Love Helper is one word. But I'm I'm gonna put it on the status on YouTube, um, on Facebook. And then for those of you who are on YouTube, just check the description below. The email address is there. You either click on it or just copy it as a whole. If you try to type it, you may you may type it wrongly. But we can assure you. Once you respond, once you, you send in and we see it, we respond within five minutes. You see all these people, you can see there is only one that is on red. We just open now. Okay, sorry, it's not even open. Only one. Now, you can see all of the rest that we have been attending to them. Look at them. We've been attending to every single one. Every single one. So please... Uh, Please, resend it again. Don't get discouraged, please. Resend it again. You see, I see, I, I see many people now that they had the opportunity to do it. They just ignored it. They thought it's, it's nothing. Okay? Now, Docker, see, if you, if you, if you, if you, uh, we will send you the details. You see, we can't handle technicalities from our end, but we give you sufficient information on how to send. It's just the same way you send email. All you need to do is just to say, I want to enroll for this married course. I am single. That's all. That's all. Just type that in the email and send to the email address, BibleLoveHelper at gmail.com. And look at the words we have chosen. Bible, then love, then helper. So combine it together. Bible, love, 
helper at gmail.com. Just tell us that you are single, you want to enroll for the marriage course. That's all. Like I said, I'm going to put the email address again um, in the title of this video for those of you on Facebook. You can also comment to say you want to enroll. We will send you the information. For those who are on YouTube, just check the description below and uh, you will find all the details there. If you are listening by audio, then just note the address. It is Bible love helper at gmail.com this course is free from beginning to the end we are not taking a dime from anybody it is completely free it is your see it is your right to take this course <laughs> if we deny you our your blood may be on our head it is your right to take it it's completely free because it is your father in heaven who has the word? Who has put it together? So it's your right to take it. All right. So now the man had packed out of this sister's house. The marriage is um, technically over. <laughs> Spiritually, it is not over. Okay. Because marriage is a covenant. But technically, marriage is over. But spiritually, it's not over. Now, We'll, we'll be praying for her. But let me say something. I don't, I, for those of you who are young, who are single, I pray that you will not get to a point, you will not enter a marriage that we will say we will be praying for you. We will be praying for this sister. But you see, it's not the best thing. We, we, there should have been no need for that prayer. I pray you won't need that kind of prayer in marriage. The, marriage, the prayer you will need in your marriage is prayer of thanksgiving. That Lord, we thank you for this couple. We thank you for how you are using them, how their marriage is an example. That's the kind of prayer I want to be praying. I don't want to be praying for failed marriage that were completely avoidable. Avoidable. You know, I remember a sister. Oh, she was also going to get married. Then she came across some of our videos and I spoke to her. You know, like I said, I usually don't tell people before that this person is wrong. Go, don't marry the person. But then the Lord rebuked me and said, some of them, if you don't tell them, they will still go ahead and marry the person. So I started telling them. But the way, I don't say don't marry. I just say this person is not right based on what the word of God has said. So she took the marriage course. And after that, she was courageous enough to break away from that relationship. And, you know, miraculously, and I'm not saying if you take her course, you will just get married. But that's how God did her own. Shortly after, she met a brother. And she told me, with her own mouth, she said, sir, she, first, she wrote a testimony that I posted. She says, I met a man too godly for me. I met a man I think I don't deserve. I'm quoting her exact words. She told me, she said, when she met the man's family, that she couldn't believe Christians are this wonderful. As I'm speaking, they are both married, and um, they both travel to the UK, and they have a child. And guess what? <laughs> when she got to the UK, um, she sent me some money. <laughs> And I enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I said, God, this one, I will enjoy this one. Ah, this one is, no, this one, I, I, I should enjoy this one. <laughs> That's the kind of testimony I want. I, I'm not praying for her now and say, Father, a marriage, please fix it, oh Lord. No, I'm giving thanks because, for a marriage. That is what the word of God can do. It will guide you to marry right. So, this sister has made this mistake. And we sincerely pray that God in his mercy will turn that marriage around. But I'm warning those of you who are coming behind. Don't rush into marriage. Don't rush to get married. Spend time 
to learn marriage. You know, when we were in secondary school, they taught us many wise sayings. One of it says, I will study and get ready, and by and by, my chance will come. Hmm. I will study and get ready. Did you know what the Bible says? It says, study to show yourself approved unto God, not unto man. Not to impress man. To, to show God that, Lord, I am truly ready to handle marriage. Many people have gone into marriage without being ready for marriage. That's why we are praying all these prayers. So you will see men of God that they want to deceive you. <laughs> they will tell you, every marital problem today come to an end. Well, it's a good prayer, but you see, <laughs> marital problems don't end like that. <laughs> Unfortunately. You don't end like that. What those preachers should have done is to teach young people how to marry right in Christ. Imagine if all our churches are serious about this. Not all these uh, useless services that we are doing. That does not profit anything. And all they are doing is just to gather money. Every Sunday, it is your turn to make it. Every Sunday, it is your turn to make it. People are there making wrong choices. You know, one of the programs we... Um, some of these churches hold. I saw one last December or so. And this bishop was saying that, if you want to marry right, come dance to the altar. And people were dancing to the altar. <laughs> and I'm laughing. <laughs> because I, I said, this is not the way to marry right. It is not by dancing to the altar. Psalm 32 verse 8. I will teach and instruct you the way you should go. I will cancel you and watch you with my eyes. You need to be taught. You need to be instructed. It's not dancing to the other. It is not sowing seed. If you come and sow seed to me, I will just eat it. <laughs> that will not bring you good marriage. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you can't bless men of God. You can, and you will have your reward. But if you want to marry right, Sit down and learn. You are, you are spending, oh God. Women, we travel without telling anybody. They will travel to different states, far away states. Some will travel to another country without their family's member knowing. They will risk it because they want to go and meet a man. They are in love. But they cannot spend a dime to buy a book, to read, to even say, what is this marriage? To learn from those who have gone through it, those who have made mistakes. I, say, I, 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 I don't have to make that mistake. You will spend hours, hours, talking on phone. And you know, I, I'm missing you. Now I'm missing you too. When am I going to see you? You know, I really love you, no? you know. You know, I do care about you. So how about, um, shall we see? You, you spend the whole day doing all of that. You cannot invest one hour to watch good, good video on YouTube that will teach you about marriage. You will wake up first thing in the morning. Hello, my king my my queen my princess hello the joy of my heart hello the days i'm not saying don't do it if you like <laughs> but make sure you know what you are doing make sure that you understand marriage you see i don't know i don't know i i wish there is a better way i can communicate this to you you know, I did something one day. <laughs> I have some married women going through terrible marriages. So I did something, and I told them, I said, for the next few weeks, all the messages, some of the messages I'm receiving about marital issues, I'm going to edit their names and identity out of it. And I'm going to be sharing some of them with you for the next one week or two. They said, okay. 
I started sharing it. I was editing and editing the name and identity of the persons. <laughs> Guess what? After one week, one of them asked me to ask one of the ladies to send her account number. She said she can't believe that a woman is suffering in marriage like this. The other lady, she says, sir, I don't have problem again. These were people who were crying. These were people who were considering divorce. When they saw what other women were going through, they considered they don't have problem. Marital problem can be that bad. I beg you, young people, don't get carried away. I beg you. Don't get carried away. I know that tendency is there. You are excited. You want to be called Mrs. You want to have sex. You want somebody you can call your own. You want to have children. You are excited. Those are not the purposes of marriage. Be patient. You see, when you get it right, oh my God, it will be like the, the spirit of the Lord coming upon Elijah. You know, Ahab, the king, was on chariots. A chariot is powered by horse or horses. You may have a chariot by one horse, two horses, three, four, as they deem it fit. But at least a chariot is a moving vehicle. So a man cannot run as fast as a chariot. Ahab had gone ahead of Elijah. Then the Bible said the spirit of the Lord came upon Elijah. He overtook Ahab. Let me say something to you. Don't rush to marry. Spend time to prepare to understand marriage. When you get married, your marriage will overtake those people who are rushing to marriage. What do I mean by that? When they are struggling with problems in your marriage, your marriage will just be cruising. You know, <laughs> do you know the illustration the Lord is bringing to my heart now? Uh, some of you, you've traveled on express road. <clears throat> and you know all these cars. Pew! They just overtake you like that. <laughs> and they are going. But you are maintaining a constant speed. Or your vehicle is maintaining a constant speed. <laughs> then after some minutes, you see that vehicle. They've opened the bonnet. There is smoke coming out. Do you know that they could sleep on the road? Whereas you, that you were going steady, you will reach your destination. The person that overtook you, that, that speed, is still on the road. That's how marriage is. People don't remember those who marry early. They remember those who have good marriage. No one remembers the person who marries early. They remember the person whose marriage is glorifying God. No one cares when you get married. They care about the output of your marriage. Nobody will remember your wedding. How many times have you sat down to talk about somebody's wedding? People who are married. How many times? What do you talk about? Their marriage. What you are discussing is their marriage. Can you imagine? I heard that um, these people are having problem. I heard that the husband did this. You are talking about the marriage, not the wedding. Prepare for marriage, not wedding. Wedding is one day. Marriage is a lifetime. Wedding is a sprint. Marriage is a marathon. You know sprint, 100 meters. Usain Bolt. Pam, it's done. Nine point something seconds, they are done. Marathon, steady. One hour, they are there. Two hours, they are still there. That's marathon. Slow but steady. That's marriage. Wedding is a sprint. Unfortunately, people spend all their resources preparing for a sprint. 
and they don't prepare for a marathon. You know, the, the preparation is different. It is easy to run a hundred meter. But to go around the field 12 times, <laughs> that's 400 meters times 12. You know what that means. That's marriage for you. Relax. You will see sex, you will run. Just relax. Spend time with the word of God. Don't make the mistake this sister made. I only shared specifically our own story. I just mentioned other people. But the truth is that I have so many people. And as I'm speaking to you now, as I'm speaking to you, I have people who have either indicated that they want to take the course or we have sent them details to take the course or they even filled the form and started and then they stopped. And then they are just going. And you know, it's amazing. This life is, is, is interesting. I'm a young person, but within my young, my short years, I've seen turnarounds. What I mean by that, I've seen people who say, who don't have time for these things, then they get married, then they come back again, and then they are in tears. I've seen it. Many. It's not, it's not just one. Many. I remember a sister some years ago, I told her clearly, I said, this man, this man, it's not a child of God. She ignored me, went ahead and got married, got pregnant. Before she delivered the baby, she was sent out of the house. This must have been six, seven years ago. She's still single to date. And she's the one taking care of the child. I just wish she listened. I just, you know. Many, pro many trouble. You will have saved yourself of troubles by just listening, by just paying attention. I say, just watch this. It will change your life. Because I can't cancel 1,000 people. It's not possible. So we have short, short, short videos on the YouTube channel. Do you know, do you know the interesting thing? On my YouTube channel, I have playlists. Playlists are subheadings. So that it's so easy for people. If you are single and all you are interested in is getting my, how to get married right, you can just go to Christian Singles. You will see videos under that. So you don't need to go through the whole channel and watch. But guess what? People won't still do this. At times, people will still tell me. They will send me a message and say, sir, Send me the link of this video. I will send it. But I'm wondering why they are sending me, asking me to send it. You know why? <laughs> All the preachers God has been using to bless my own life. I have not gone to them to tell me to send the link of their YouTube messages. I'm the one looking for it. When I wanted to get married, we don't have internet the way you have it today. I had to go and I will go to a cafe with laptop to download messages on marriage. I still remember some of the authors, some of their teachings. I will go and download it. And then I will stay in the room. I can listen to 10 hours of messages. Just learning. And you know, at different times that I wanted to make mistake, that you will see somebody and say, Ah! It must be this one. <laughs> But then, you will remember some of those teachings. When you apply it, you will see that, no, this person, this is not right. This one does not align with the word of God. And that's how some of us have been kept from mistakes. Today, many cannot even do that. You are not going to friends and say, who has books? Nobody is asking for books. I have three books on marriage now. Not by not written by me that I could give to people. But nobody is asking. Nobody is coming and saying, Sir, do you have a book on marriage? You know, I will have just taken them to my study and say, Oh, yes, I do. Please go and read this. Nobody is asking anybody anything. What people want is, How can I find a man? How can I find a man? 
You think finding a man is the issue? You can never find the right man unless you yourself get your relationship right with Jesus. So if you are living in sin, you are playing your time away. You are doing boyfriend, girlfriend. You are on TikTok, watching useless videos. You don't have time to watch godly videos on YouTube, but you are watching all useless comedies. How will you find the right person? How will the word of God guide you? You don't have time for the Bible, but you want to marry right. How? You know, some people even think it is by prayer. They will fast seven days. Now lie. <laughs> Jesus said you will know the truth. The truth will make you free. He didn't say prayer will make you free. Prayer is no substitute for the word of God. Jesus, did you know that Jesus didn't teach his disciples how to pray until they asked him? <laughs> and prayer was not much on their curriculum. What was the major thing on their curriculum? The word of God. Every day, the Bible will say, he taught them saying, he taught them saying, he taught them about marriage. In fact, Jesus taught his disciples about marriage when they had good understanding of marriage. Guess what he said? They said it is better not to marry. These were men who were anxious to be married. But when they saw the cost, there's something we call the cost of marriage. It's in our cost. The cost of marriage. Marriage has a cost. When they saw it, they said it to the face of Jesus. It is better not to marry. Of course, it is better to marry. But what they are saying is that they rather prefer not to marry than to not marry and not keep to the standard that Jesus says God is requiring in marriage. And it's, uh, they are honest. Jesus didn't rebuke them. It's actually better. Do you know there are men today that should not be married? But some women will be on their neck and marry them. And then when they have married, then they start this problem. And you know, it, it, it's a waste of life. Women that enters into bad marriage, I have discovered that that is what they will be dealing, most of them deal with it, they die. That problem, it doesn't go. Marital problem, it is until they die. Except, ah, the Lord just show mercy. And you see, God is merciful. But I beg you, I beg you, so you see, I want to appeal to you. Again, we have a free marriage course. It is free. You will do it on your phone. All you need is to send email to that email address. Tell us you want to enroll for the course and your marital status. Just tell us you are single. No? You know why I'm saying that? Because we have another course for married people. That's for people who have now married. They can they take that one. That that is a remedia. That is that one God is using it to restore the homes that allows him to restore them. But the single cause it gives you a good foundation. You will understand the author of marriage. You will now understand the difference between kingdom marriage and worldly marriage. Many people don't know that. They confuse it. There are two kinds of marriages on the face of the earth. Kingdom marriage and worldly marriage. In module 3, you will learn about the purpose of marriage. This is, that is even interesting because 98% of people who are taking the course usually tells us that they didn't know the purpose of marriage until they took that course. They had something they thought is the purpose of marriage. Most people will tell you that companionship, sex, to raise children. They will find you will find that in the word of God that that's not it. <laughs> but that's why many people marry. In module four, you will learn about your feelings. Because no matter what you know, if you can't control your feelings, you will be getting into wrong relationship. You see, people get into a relationship they don't plan to go into. You meet somebody, this person is charming, loving, you get into to conversation, 
Before you know it, you started developing feelings for the person. If you don't know what you are doing, your feeling will lead you into wrong marriage. So we highlighted all the feelings and explained them in details. And then finally, we now help you to understand what exactly is love. In module 5, you will learn about the cost of marriage. I mentioned that earlier. What is the cost of marriage? What will marriage cost you? Many people don't sit down to count the cost. They think of romance. They don't think of the responsibility of marriage. Marriage has both romance and responsibility. You must think of the two. In module 6, you will now see those you should not marry. That's, that's module 6. It's interesting. It's amazing. Many people, as I'm speaking now, are in relationship with somebody they should not marry. You will see it clearly. You, will, you yourself will understand whether your relationship, that person is right or not. Those you should not marry. Then module 7, you'll be looking at those you should marry. What God wants you to look for in a man, in a woman. Module 8 also will be reinforcing how does God guide you into marriage. Then module 9, you'll be looking at what are the questions you should ask before you marry anybody. That's module 9. What are the questions? Because people don't ask questions. They don't even know. They are so much in love that they don't want to offend each other with questions. Questions will help you not to marry the wrong person. And then module 10, you'll be learning about courtship. How do we contract a Christian relationship? Because we don't do dating, uh, girlfriend, uh, and boyfriend stuff. So in module 10, you will learn about courtship. What should you be doing in your courtship? Because if you are in a proper courtship, you know, when, when people tell me, I say, sir, I'm in this relationship and I don't know why he's not committed. He's been, I've asked him to meet my parent or the date. He's not just forthcoming. No, it is a sign that you are in a wrong relationship. If you are in biblical courtship, you won't experience all of that. Because there's a way we go about it. That from day one, you both knew you want to get married. Once you start courtship, you are working towards your wedding. There is nothing, you, the woman doesn't, will not be under pressure to pressurize the man to say, go and do what you should do. No, it is, not, it is the two of you that will be planning things together. It's interesting. And then, uh, module 11, you'll be learning about finance because we believe that money is a critical tool in marriage. A, particularly, that can be of negative consequence if it's not well managed how should you marry your manage your finance many people go into marriage they never ask all this you will learn about it and then module 12 which is the last module a biblical counsel for marriage you will now see how the scriptures address various aspects of marriage it's a, it's, it's just amazing it's just interesting there is no way any man could have conceived and come up with this cause. It is mercy of God for our generation. And it is free. So we are not promoting it for anybody's sake. We are not promoting it because we have one ulterior motive. The only thing we have is that we want to see you marry. We want to see you thrive in marriage. We want to see your marriage fulfill the purpose of God. We also want you to experience peace love, joy in marriage. That is all that we are interested in. When we do this, the church will be strengthened. The body of Christ will be strengthened. Our nation will be strengthened. When we get marriage right, we will get the society right. And then in the end, we will even give you a certificate. <laughs> so just indicate that you have taken it. All you need to do is to write to us. If you are single, just write to us. I'm single. I want to enroll for the marriage course. The email address, I'm going to put it in the description box for those of you watching on YouTube. And for those of you on Facebook, just check the title. You will see under it the email address, BibleLoveHelper at gmail.com. You can contact me. If you still don't get it, you can comment. You can contact me. Check whatever platform you are using, our, our phone number, email address, um, other social media handles, they are all there. If you are on TikTok, okay, we do short, short messages on marriage on TikTok. 
please join TikTok or follow us on TikTok at Olushe Gumoku Olu. All of those details, you will find them in the About section on Facebook. And when you also go on YouTube, on this video you are watching, just check below. You will see all the links to the social media, either Twitter, Instagram, and all of them have messages facility. So you can chat with us. You can relate with us. My phone number is public. You can call me. Plus 234-818-615-7852. Plus 234-818-615-7852. I'm your brother. Please feel free to call me. Please feel free to message me on WhatsApp. Message me by SMS. Feel free to contact. Don't call me and say, sir, I'm sorry for calling you. Don't be sorry. You are entitled to it. We are brethren. Don't see me as one big person somewhere that uh, you cannot just call. No, I'm, see me as your brother that you can call at any time. So feel free. Take advantage of it. The YouTube channel is linked to this Facebook and for those of you watching on the YouTube, you can just check other videos. You can check the playlist and watch videos on singles. Consume it. Let it help you. Not just our own videos. Please watch other videos of men of God who will bless you. Buy books. Invest. Understand it. You won't regret it. It will not be a waste of time. It will not be a waste of money. But I tell you, if you enter into a terrible marriage, it will be a waste of life. My prayer is that that will not be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to thank everybody who have joined this video. Particularly, uh, I must try... Please, sorry if I don't call this name correctly. Um, Omshfil Champion Masuku. Thank you so much for sharing this. Thank you so much for your comments. Um, thank you for transcribing some of the things I was saying in the live video. I appreciate you very much. Thank you also. Uh, Sally Deborah Abiodun. God bless you very much. Uh, Dokas Hassan, we will be expecting your email. We will be ready to respond to you uh, immediately. We see it. God bless you all. My name remains Olu Shegun Moku Olu. I am your brother in Christ. And do have a pleasant day.